Before I begin, I'll repeat myself, please. Samne jo photographers hain, wo kripya piche TV walon ka dhyan rakhein. Since it's a live telecast, kindly do not stand to obstruct their view. Silent mode pe kar dein, please. Aawaz jo aari, usse band kar dein, taaki main shuru kar paun. Welcome to this press conference by Election Commission of India. Chief Election Commissioner Shri Rajiv Kumar ji and Election Commissioner Shri Anup Chandra Pandey ji are leading the ECI team. We are joined on the dais by Senior DEC Shri Dharmen Sharma and Shri Nitesh Vyas, Deputy Election Commissioners Shri Ridesh Kumar ji, Shri R.K. Gupta, Shri Ajay Bhadu, DG IT Shrimati Neeta Verma, Special Officer IT Shri H.R. Srinivas and Special Officer Sweep Shri Ranbir Singh and I am DG Media Shifali Sharan. I would request Chief Election Commissioner Shri Rajiv Kumar to kindly give his opening statement, after which the floor would be open for your questions. I would request you to ask your questions subsequently, one by one, after introducing your name and the name of your media organization that you represent. Kindly ensure your mobile phones are on silent mode throughout the conference, and there's no disturbance to camera persons in between. Sir, please. Thank you, Chef Ji. My esteemed colleague, Honorable Election Commissioner Shri Anup Chand Pandeji, senior officials from the Election Commission on the dais, and friends from media who have gathered here today, and also those who are connected with us virtually. We meet today for a press conference that most of you have been awaiting, and have also been guessing since morning also. October is a month with many festivals, and we are adding one more festival, that is the Festival of Democracy to this month of October. October ke is uh, tiohar ke mahal mein, log tantr ke tiohar ko bhi hum log jod rahe hain, election commission ki taraf se. Jis mein 18 saal se leke 100 varsh tak ke, bujurg mad dataon ka, ek bahut hi bahurangi uh, indr dhanush hai. It's a fantastic uh, rainbow of the voters ranging from 18 years to 100 plus. And we'll, we'll focus a bit on this uh, rainbow. I would explain in the detail about this. But in the meantime, to, to move forward, the elections, when we conduct, we have three broad objectives. First is the elections have to be free fair, inclusive, accessible, and inducement free. And the second major vertical is the voter, that the, comf that the voting experience should be very, very comfortable. And thirdly, the maximum voter participation, especially of the young voters, urban voters, PWDs, and senior citizens. These four categories we intend to focus more, which I'll explain. Bharat Nirvachan Ayok Satantra Nispaksh Pralovan Mukt Inducement Free Tarike Se Vidhan Sabha Ka Agami Nirvachan Chunao Karani Ke Liye Pratibad Hai. Or Hamara Priyas Hai Ki Barist Nagriko, Divyang Jano, Mahilao, Nai Maddatao, Sabki Bhagidari, Bhati Sashakt Tarike Se Anevali Chunao Me Hom. The Through the vast reach of the media, I would request first that interaction will start with the wish that our appeal is being heard by most of the voters and they will come out to participate wholeheartedly in this forthcoming festival of democracy. Before going into the mode of the elections, we have an extensive process of consultation. And the magnitude and the scale of our elections is really awe-inspiring, as you all know. For the last few months, our entire team, which you are seeing here, has been working on organizing these elections, ranging from the electoral rules to the management of logistics to various things which we will explain. Periodic reviews were done by them. The commission also went to the states where the elections are due. And we had detailed meetings with the DOs, with the SPs, and with all the enforcement agencies, chief secretaries, DGs, and everyone who is involved in either conduct of elections or in the enforcement side of this. 
we also simultaneously discussed the COVID situation as it has been bothering in the last two rounds of elections. The, we had a detailed discussion with the health secretary, union health secretary, and also with the chief secretaries and DGs of the concerned states, health secretaries. It doesn't seem to be that much of a concern now, but still the states have been advised that they will continue to follow the five-fold strategy of test, track, treat, vaccinate, and follow the appropriate behavior. We have revised our guidelines, which are in this form, essentially saying that they have to follow the norms set by the health ministry and also the respective SDMAs in the states if there is any situation that warrants the tightening or the graded response to the COVID situation. Friends, the first and foremost thing in conducting an election is the electoral roll. A healthy error-free electoral roll is the primary step that is the base on which the entire elections are held. And the summary, special summary revision has just happened. The electoral rules have been published in the concerned states. And during this exercise, the commission has laid a special emphasis on registration of new age voters, women, transgenders, and persons with disabilities. In order to ensure a clean electoral roll, this, the photographically similar entries, PSCs, and demographically similar entities, entries have been found through the use of software and field verification. They were circulated to all the DOs and also to the respective BLOs to do a field verification of those who are found to be in the demographically similar entries or the photo similar entries. The special proactive steps were taken for the registration of PWDs, old age, and also the third gender. In this, we took help of the welfare departments, respective departments, for example, the welfare department, whenever the question of the registration of PWDs came. So whomsoever they were giving a scholarship, we just cross-checked that they are our voters. To address the issue of urban apathy, we found that there is generally an urban apathy. If I can give you an example in the 2019 elections, general elections, and if we list all the, say, seven, eight districts where the voting has been leased, four of them happen to be the metropolitan cities. It's all in our statistics book, which we have published. I am not naming them here, but we are focusing on the urban apathy very, very seriously. In this, our CEOs are signing the MOUs with the departments and with the industry and with the organizations who have more than 500 persons. And we have reached out to the colleges and the educational institutions. What is expected is that after the voting, if uh, the nodal officers are appointed in these organizations with 500 plus voters, and we will try and persuade those voters after the elections, the leave taking and non-voting uh, voters, we will try and reach to them and say, please join next time. So that's a kind of a awareness which we will start. The Election Commission of India in pursuance of the legal amendments had made four dates, as you are all aware. And this, by virtue of this, there is a pass the, now the every quarter, first of the every quarter, one can apply for the registration. And the new now onwards, the electoral rules will be updated every quarter. Or Nirvachan Ayo ki is pahel par kanun mein jo badlao kiye gaye, jiske karana char dates mein sambhav hai. Or ab poll going states mein namankan ke din tak bhi abhi madata mein suchi mein naam jodwaya ja sakta hai. So is mein ye bhi aapke madhyam se anurod hai ki agar itni mehnat karke, नए वोटर्स को जोड़ने के लिए कमीशन ने और फील्ड स्टाफ ने मेहनत की है तो उनको भी आगे बढ़ के वोट देने आना चाहिए 
Friends, I'll also tell you how many specifically uh, benefited by this, uh, uh, this amendment. I'll come to it and tell you. In, a, in an election, voters are our primary stakeholders. And therefore, even those who do not have a voter uh, epic, by and large, we have now ensured that the voting epic reaches, epic card reaches everyone. It's being delivered even now, but by chance, if you don't have, there are these many, almost a dozen uh, other documents through which one can vote. So one need not be worried. What is important is to come to the booth with any one of these, even if one doesn't have an epic. Now the next important thing is the polling station. And in, that's the next uh, point at which we interact with the voter. The effort is to make the uh, voting experience it's, it's quite, uh, quite much in, quite uh, protocol based, but we are still trying that the experience becomes far more uh, enjoyable in the true spirit of the festival of the democracy. Our CEOs and DOs have been asked to identify the lowest polling percentage booth in each constituency. This is what we are doing to increase our awareness and persuade the voters to come and vote. And they are going personally to the polling stations which are having the least percentage of voting below the average in their each respective constituencies. So they will try and find out what is the issue, why there is a uh, lesser percentage of voting in those particular booths. They will try and bring them up to the level of the general voting in that particular constituency. Friends, Commission ka ek dusra focus hai jo hamesha raha hai, usme aage har baar nai cheez jurti hai, wo ye hai ki har polling station par kuch basic suvidhaen nishit roop se uplabd rehni chahiye. To ye jitni basic suvidhaen hum aapko slide ke madhyam se bhi dikha rahe hain. Every polling station would have a ramp which is accessible for the PWDs, drinking water, electricity, shade and Volunteers for the PWDs for the old age. So every polling station would be on a ground floor so that it is not problematic for anybody to climb. So, jitna bhi comfort polling station pe de sakte hain, wo dene ka priyas hum log kar rahe hain. Aur in elections mein 100 percent certificate DO se liya ja raha hai ki sab polling stations par ye suvidhaen uplabd hain. Friends. कुछ पोलिंग स्टेशन ऐसे होंगे जिसमें जो सिर्फ महिलाओं के द्वारा ही मैनेज्ड होंगे ऑल पोलिंग पर्सनल एंड आल्सो इवन द सिक्योरिटी स्टाफ 100% वुमेन ओरिएंटेड सो दिस इज आवर एवरी असेंबली वुड हैव एटलीस्ट वन एंड मोर इन सर्टेन पॉकेट्स सो महिलाओं के सशक्तिकरण को दर्शाने का चुनावों के इस माध्यम से भी हम लोग एक इस एक बहुत सशक्त माध्यम बनाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ताकि एक्सपीरियंस भी एक बहुत अच्छा हो और साथ साथ एक सशक्तिकरण को भी वो प्रदर्शित कर सके फ्रेंड्स सिमिलरली सम पोलिंग स्टेशन विल बी मैनेज एंटायरली बाई आर पीडब्ल्यू डी स्टाफ और they will be ready to welcome the voters. And aapke madhyam se ye bhi hum log kehna chaate hain aur commission mein bhoat hi iske baare mein sensitivity hai ki jo PWDs hain wo actually bhoat maine mein hum se bhoat jyada abled hain. Unka chintan, unka bhao, unke emotions, unke shahin shilta bhoat cheez hum logo se jyada hai. So what they require is essentially the equity and equal opportunities, not mere sympathy. And therefore, we are very, very conscious that we will cover all the, uh, all the uh, PWDs, mark them. I'll give you a figure as to how much we have marked all India. And you would be happy to know that. I'll come to that slowly. Now, at the, maybe at the cost of repeating, I would reiterate, if we as the election commission team put in such concerted efforts to ensure a polling station within two kilometer reach for voters, replete with all kinds of facilities, I would appeal to the voters to value their hard earned right to franchise and come out to vote in maximum numbers so that Maddata Rupi Indra Dhanush har booth par dikhai de. 
Now I come to friends the postal ballot facility for the absentee voters because it would be happening first time in the yes, in these elections. Commission has decided and introduced this in the last round of elections that 80 plus age voters, PWDs and COVID infected voters, we would provide a form 12D and if they are willing, if they want to come to the polling station, every effort would be made to make it very, very comfortable there and we encourage it. But in case somebody is ill and is not able to come, the commission would go to their house and get the boat conducted. And just a pishli bar, ek do jagah mein ye suchna mili thi ki kuch shikayat milne ki umid thi ki aapne boaters ka unka koi influence ho sakta hai ghar par. Usko khatam karne ke liye bhi every entire process would be videographed. Saath mein candidates ke agents ko pehle se hi suchit kiya jayega ki kis din boat lene jayenge. Wo saath mein jayenge, ja sakte hain and everything would be photographed, videographed, sorry, videographed. So, without compromising the secrecy of boat, the facility of boating would be extended right from the comfort of their home. Uh, and you would be happy to know in the entire country, there are 1.82 crores boaters who are 80 plus. And you would further be happy to know there are 100 plus boaters, centenarians who are crossing 2.5 lakhs. Imagine that they are all part of our voter list. And we are so happy, so privileged to serve them better. Actually, in any society, if we don't look at elders, we don't give them respect. So it doesn't, it's not a right way of uh, our uh, human behavior. So we are very aware of it. And we are trying to keep the secrecy of उनके घर से बोट भी लेंगे अगर उन्हें इस बात की जरूरत होगी। Similarly for PWDs, all the facilities starting from a volunteer to the wheelchair, if they require, would all be available at the booths. And again to give you another interesting figure, there are 82 lakhs PWDs also who are marked in our voter list. And our entire effort is to make it inclusive and accessible. The commission puts a whole lot of emphasis on making the elections truly participative, accessible for all our PWD brothers and sisters. Friends, I would just briefly touch the technological interventions. There is a whole lot of technology which will go into the elections starting from the, for the ease of the voters and also for managing the inducement free elections. Firstly, the voter helpline, you can see all kinds of informations in that, including your booth location, including the candidates, the informations about them and results. The another interesting and very important uh, application is a C vigil application. What it does, any voter, can make any complaint and the moment he load, either he can take a picture from his mobile, he can write on a paper and take a photo or he can type. And the moment he sends a matches to see vigil, his lat long longitude and latitude is automatically fed. Means his location, geolocation is known. And our team will reach within 60 minutes flat and would answer in 90 minutes. So what we are saying, what we are appealing through you to our voters, कि अगर कहीं भी कोई भी दुरुपयोग, money power का, narcotics का, drugs का, किसी भी तरीके का उनको नजर आता है, किसी भी polling party का कोई चीज गलत नजर आती है, तो कृपया उसको C vigil पे डालें। कुछ states ने बहुत effectively सशक तरीके से इसको use किया, and this is becoming an interesting tool in our hands to control the menace of any kind of money or the power or misuse by anybody. So please, again I would request that agar nagrik vigilant hai, so vigilant nagrik, C is the citizen become vigilant and it is your election. If you would help us, we will guarantee that in 100 minutes you get a written response on the same mobile number from which you make a complaint. 
Similarly, PWD app also gives the opportunity to the PWD voters to go there and even register for facilities or facilitation at the booth. Unko kursi chahiye, unko koi madad chahiye, wo volunteer to milega hi, wo sab is par pehle se book kar sakte hain. Another interesting uh, and very, very critical application is KYC. Know your candidate. So, candidate ka pura ka pura affidavit, which will give all his assets and liabilities and all the criminal background, if any, would be made available to the voters. Through this app of Know Your Candidate, agar kisi bhi candidate ki koi bhi rajnitik or koi bhi aparadhik prashtabhumi hai, to wo is par ispast roop se dikhai degi, kya aparad hai unke upar mein, kis tarikye ki FIR hai, uski kya details hai, kis ki kya status hai. And in addition, as you all know, three times they will have to publish in the newspapers. So, commission ka kaam hai, ki agar ki, ki criminality in the elections, in the politics gets eliminated, reduced, if not eliminated. Uske liye hum aisi vivastha kare ki kam se kam uski prashtbhumi voter ke saamne is first dikhai de, then it is voter's choice. We enable the voter to take an informed choice. It's part of the disclosure. And all the assets, liabilities would also be known in this. So your constituency, your candidate, his background, financial, criminal, if any, would all be known through the know your candidate. So please use this. Not, not for voters, for the candidates also, there is an application called Suvida. Jitni bhi entitlements unke hain, wo sab online apply kar sakte hain. And we have directed, commission is directed, that it will be served to the candidates on first in, first out basis, so that there is no bias. Whosoever locks in first, whosoever applies for a ground or for any facility, first, and if that is a limited place, space, he will be, he or she will be given the candidate first. Friends, we also had a detailed interaction with the enforcement agencies and to just tell you that no cash would move in the poll going states between after 5 o'clock till 5 o'clock in the, till 10 o'clock in the morning banks have been directed ki koi bhi cash ka movement apni van ke thro nahi karenge aisa dekha gaya hai ki usi van ko use karke kuch na kuch log koshish kar sakte hain ki usme cash move ho illegal usko mana kiya gaya hai Airports would be under watch. The GST would keep a track on all the e-bills to find out that no consumer goods, there is no spurt in uh, supply of consumer goods in that particular state for distribution as a freebie or as an inducement. The, all the borders would be sealed in these states. There would be no, there, there would be strict watch on any kinds of uh, money or uh, cash or drugs or that kind of thing. Friends, uh, during this uh, phase in the communication age, there are a whole lot of misinformation and fake news and narratives which get generated. So through you again, we request the voters to be vigilant, to at least see that pichle kitne election mein same news usi prakar se chal chuki hai. Usko kam se kam aage badhane se pehle अपनी थोड़ी सी विस्टम लगा के सोच लें कि ये सत हो सकती है कि नहीं फेक नैरेटिव्स में आगे बढ़ाने में मदद ना करें अगर लगता है ठीक है तो जरूर आगे बढ़ाएं उनका हक है बट वी हैव एस्टेब्लिश्ड सोशल मीडिया टीम्स इन द सीईओ ऑफिस एंड ऑल द डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट्स एंड एसएसपीज ऑफिसेस टू कीप ए स्ट्रिक्ट वॉच एंड इफ एनीबॉडी ट्राइज टू क्रिएट र्यूमर्स और क्रिएट क्रिएट फेक न्यूज़ और 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 न्यूज़ व्हिच आर ऑब्जेक्शनेबल the appropriate action the teams would take as mandated under the law. So, need, uh, give, having given you an overview of the efforts which have gone into the entire uh, uh, preparation, now I would come to uh, the main uh, thing for which you are waiting. And 
to tell you first the term of the legislative assembly of himachal pradesh is expiring on 8th of january 2023 and there are 68 acs across 12 districts and with the specific seats reserved for scs and sts so out of 68 17 seats are reserved for scs and 3 seats are reserved for sts as you see the data on this slide the forthcoming legislative election our teams would be ready to serve more than 55 lakh electors of whom about 67000 are service voters and 56000 in the state of himachal would be pwds and you would be happy to know that there are 1184 voters who are 100 plus and we have reached everybody's house as a mark of respect towards them and you will be happy to know and it's a it's a motivational thing for our young voters there are voters who have voted in all elections since 1950 all including the local body elections and there are 1184 and they come to many of them come to the booth they say we do not need the form 12d we will come to the booth so they are really uh, the source of inspiration for all of us and humne unko sabke ghar mein ek chitthi bhej ke apne blo sahab ke through ya officers ke through sabko sammanit bhi kiya aur aabhar bhi prakat kiya ki aap hi ki prerna se baki log bhi aage badh ke vote de sake uh, friends in the there are uh, 1.2 lakh voters who would be 80 plus in himachal and 1.86 lakh voters would be first time voters between 18 years and 19 years and this these are the one with whom we are very very focused way we are connecting with all of them by organizing large number of events in their colleges and institutions you as you know the amendment in section 14 enabled us to register uh, voters in the four qualifying dates तो आप आप इसको अगर मैं ऐसे समझाऊं कि जो लोग फर्स्ट जनवरी अगर ये अगर ये अमेंडमेंट ना होता तो फर्स्ट जनवरी 22 को जो भी लोग 18 इयर्स के हो गए वही वोटर बन पाते उसके बाद में फर्स्ट जनवरी 23 की क्वालिफाइंग डेट से वोटर बनते बट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस चेंज इन हिमाचल एलोन दो बॉन्ड आफ्टर फर्स्ट जनवरी ट्वेंटी बट बिफोर अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी 43173 additional voters have been enrolled and they would be able to participate in this festival this is only because of the amendment which happened and you can extrapolate it and see because of this four changes and now what we have done and what will happen in the ssr now even if somebody is 17 and is going to be 18 next year till october 2023 in the new ssr which is coming the in the entire country they can apply in advance and we take the responsibility of keeping that application with us and making him or her the voter the date on the on 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 his or her birthday and our officers will send them a kit a first a welcome kit for the new voters which will contain the epic card which will contain how to vote which will contain about how the evms function which will contain the digital the the website links to where they can find educate themselves about about the uh, about the election process uh, we throw you call upon all voters in himachal to come out and vote their participation should be should take inspiration from the elders who are there in that state and our fervent appeal that all stakeholders maintain covid appropriate behavior फ्रेंड्स आयोग ने हमेशा मीडिया को चुनावी प्रक्रिया में अपना सबसे बड़ा एलआई माना है इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ ए नेचुरल एलआई दैट इज व्हाई फर्स्ट टाइम वी कम हियर एंड अनाउंस देयर इज नोबडी हु कम्स टू नो ऑफ दिस मैं दोहराना चाहूंगा कि आपके माध्यम से सभी वोटर्स को एक बार पुनः अपील करेंगे एंड द एग्जैक्ट शेड्यूल फॉर द स्टेट वुड बी एज इट्स बीइंग शोन ऑन योर स्लाइड्स द the notification the date dates the date. if it is visible the date for 
the gazette notification would be 17th october the election would be in one phase last date for nomination would be 25th october that is tuesday date for scrutiny would be 27th last date for withdrawal would be 29th and date of poll 12th november and date of counting 8th december and the entire process is completed by 10th of december so again through you with the appeal to all the voters on behalf of all of us to come and vote in the state of himachal i hand over to shafali ji back thank you we'll take questions neeraj aap shuru kar